Hello everyone and welcome to another Simple Science video where we aim to explain simple scientific concepts. Now in this video we are concerned with work done in the chapter Work, Energy and Power. Okay, maybe you probably know what work done is. Work done is, well, whenever there's a force um, that moves a point in which it acts in the direction of the force, then work is done. For example, the if the point of application of that man on his um, his his device moves, the point of application being the point of his hand and the handlebar in the direction of D, the point of application moves, then there is work done. Okay, And work is known as the product of the resultant force and the distance moved in the direction of that force. Okay, So if the, the device that he is trying to move with the force is moving then there is work done whereas if someone was trying to push on the wall they were applying a certain amount of energy we do know that but the wall isn't moving so there's the product of the force and the distance if the distance is zero this is the pushing on the wall then it's not gonna move then the work done is basically zero okay now let's look about uh, on a concept of work done on and by so in the first situation, well, this this ball has initially is moving to the right, and the force is also acting to the right. And in this situation, we say that work is done by the force. Remember, whenever the force is in the same direction as the motion, then it is then work done is by the force. Okay, whereas if the ball is moving against the direction of the force then we say that work done is on the force because they are in they are in opposite directions okay now let's get even deeper work done on an object as i said previously is the product of the resultant force and the direction moved in the distance moved in the direction of the force okay and we know that distance moved in the direction of the force is basically s cos angle s cos theta i like to call it r you can replace s by d but i like to call it s because it shows displacement and force is f and work done therefore by definition is f times s times cos r r being the angle okay that's a very important equation in physics and everyone should know this now let's look at a quick example. An object is moved along the floor, as indicated, with 50 newton force raised to 60 degrees from the horizontal and moves 10 meters. So we use the formula. We have 50 newtons times cos 60 times by 10 meters. Okay, and you should get 250 joules of work done by the force, right? Okay. And in the next example, we just have an additional force of 20 newtons to the left. So we have the same equation. And remember, it's the resultant force multiplied by the distance moved in the resultant force. And since something is moved along the floor, the resultant force is to the right in, in this situation, not up or down. Okay. So we get the resultant force is 50 cos 60 which is the, the the resultant force minus 20 to give you the resultant force multiplied by the distance moved in the direction of the resultant force which is to the right and that is 10 meters so it's 50 cos 60 minus 20 that's the resultant force multiplied by the distance 10 and that should give you 50 joules hope this video has explained some few things and have a nice day